a cube is expanding at the rate of change of 8 meters cubed per second. What is the rate of change of its surface area when its side length is 20 meters? So you have a cube, it's expanding, it's getting bigger and bigger in all direction opposite from its center. And as it's increasing, obviously, it's, the side length of it is also going to increase as the overall volume of the volume of the cube is getting bigger and bigger and we know this cube is expanding at the rate of 8 meters cubed per second after a second this cube has expanded 8 meters cubed and you want to find the rate of change of its surface area when its side length is 20 meters let's think about how we can solve this we know dv dt or the rate of change of volume with respect to time is 8 meters cubed per second and we know at the moment where we want to evaluate the rate of change of surface area we know the side length s is 20 so how can we tie this together to find the rate of change of its surface area with respect to time well we know how to relate vol a volume of a sphere and a side of a sphere. We know volume is s cubed because s times s is going to give you the area of this one face of this face of the cube, and multiplying by another s is going to give you the entire volume of this cube. So v is s cubed. So let's try differentiating with respect to time of both sides of this equation and see if that gives us any useful thing to work with. Well, derivative with respect to time of v is dv dt, which we know the value of. Uh, derivative with, with respect to time of s cubed is 3s squared, derivative of s cubed. Then you have to multiply by ds dt because you're differentiating with respect to time, but this thing is s cubed. Now, how can, is there anything we can obtain from this equation? Well, we know dv dt is 8. We know s is 20, so we, we have 3 times 20 squared. So using this, we can find ds dt at this time. What's ds dt? That's going to be 8 over 3 over 20 squared, or 8 over 1200, also known as 2 over, also known as, let's actually divide by 8, 1 over 1, 5, 0, 1 over 150 is the rate of change of one, of the side length with respect to time. But that's not what we want to find. We don't want to find the small s. You want to find the rate of change of the surface area with respect to time. How can we do that? Well, we know the surface area of the sphere is 6 times the side length squared because one side length squared is going to give you the area of one face and since you have six faces on a cube the surface area is going to be 6 s squared so let's try differentiating with respect to time again ds dt is 12 s and you have to put ds dt and we know what ds dt is you know what side length is so we can find the rate of change of surface area with respect to time it's going to be 12 times s, 20, times ds dt or 150, also known as, these zeros cancel out, 12 and 15, you have 24, 15, also known as 8 over 5. And since it's rate of change of surface area, which is two-dimensional, the unit is going to be meters squared per second.